I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for more of our Gen Con Bonanza Explosion Blog coverage here live at Gen Con 2018. Thanks in part to our amazing Kickstarter backers and these amazing companies right here who donated games so we could put them on our Kickstarter and help send us here. So huge thanks to them. Also, our two main sponsors, TMG and Minion Games. Be sure to click on those links and show them some love. Right now, we are here. We're piping it out hot. We're piping it out fresh. And I'm going to be talking about Adam's Apple's game's new game, Sword Crafter. So this is ages 6 plus, 1 to 5 players, 30 minutes. It's a very simple abstract strategy-ish game where you're actually going to be building a sword. Like a physical sword that you can wave around. I mean, you could stab somebody, but it wouldn't hurt. Anything like that. But you're going to start with a hilt, and it's going to have one little gem on it. And then your goal is to slice up this 4x4 grid of other pieces that you're going to be adding to your sword in order to get colors that you need to win the game. So how it works is you're going to start off with a hilt, and then you're going to take turns, and you're going to have a 4x4 grid of these square tiles. Now these tiles are going to be tiles you'll be able to put into your sword to make your sword bigger and grow it up. Uh... And everyone's going to have a turn slicing it until there's as many slices as there are people playing, plus one, at which point the first player is going to pick, and then you're going to go around the table. One thing will be left over. It's out, and then you're going to attach it to your sword. You're going to do this until you run out of those tiles. But how do you score points? Well... Uh, there's going to be three cards out on the table, which will be pretty much just be sort of set collection-y. So if you have the most of this, or if you have the most of that, or if you have the most of this color, then you are going to be able to score eight points or six points or four points, and it goes down uh, the higher with more players that you have. So if you're second place, you're going to get less, so on and so forth. Pretty standard stuff. The other way you can do it is you're going to look at two sides of your sword, like the actual... There, there's two sides that are the side of your sword and two sides of the front of your sword. And if you have... Uh, a whole bunch in a row, you're going to score that many points. Also, if you have pairs that are together, you're going to score points for those as well. And it's a really simple abstract strategy game. You're slicing things up, picking them, putting them on your sword, rinse, wash, repeating, and oh, and whoever has the longest sword wins some points as well. So I was really intrigued by this game. It looked really cool. I saw it on the BGG thing. Uh, it was on my, my list to potentially put on my top 10, maybe top 20 to check out. And I liked it. I thought it was a really cool, light Family Wake ab Abstract Strategy Game. It said ages 6 plus. I think that's just about right. I like the slicing mechanism in the game. And also, the box that we were playing with had all the stuff for the expansion, which is already released. And that was really interesting. I got to take a peek at that. I didn't get, we didn't play with that since it was our first game. But that looked like it just turned into like this crazy gamery game with all sorts of other different aspects and scoring and who doodads and things you could add to the game. Uh, so it looked like you could get the Family Wake game and just get the Sword Crafters one, which is still at the same time, I think would go go over well on game nights as a lighter filler weight game, you know, a little bit longer than a filler weight game, I would say. Um, but at the same time, if you wanted to bump up the complexity, you could get that expansion, which as I said, I haven't played, but if it's anything like the base game, I think it's good. So uh, I really like Sword Crafters. I thought it was good to very good game, and if you're in the market for a, a game where you're going to actually be building a sword family weight game, I think this is definitely one you might want to check out. That is from Adam, Adam's Apples Games. That is Sword Crafters. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying this Gen Con coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know. How many swords do you have at your house? Sir, excuse me. Yes. Uh, how many swords do you have? Do you have any swords at your house? Uh, no. Okay. I'm uh, sorry. I probably have like Eight, but most of them are children's swords. I do have one sword uh, for my girlfriend. Uh, not my oh shoot, my wife, my wife of five years that I love dearly. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> I, I've had her. Uh, five years. Well, she has one real sword, but the rest of them are all just fake kid swords. But let me know in the comments below how many swords do you have at your house? And as always, thanks for your time. You.